Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Of course, you can tell from the title, this is going to be a swatch party. Now, usually I do a makeup like haul for every month, so you will see this product again, and of course you will see a review. But I wanted to do a swatch party because I've wanted this palette for a really long time. So if you're interested in seeing some swatches, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I had a good mail day today. I have to show you this little thing that I ordered from Macy's. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? This is a little Michael Kors fanny pack, and it was on sale, you guys, and I was like, I'm about that fanny pack life, and I got this, and it's so cute, and it's so subtle, and I cannot wait to style this baby. So yeah, it is really cool. I've been buying a lot of things from Michael Kors lately. Ah, uh, he just has some incredible pieces. I know, like, where I live, Michael Kors is, like, super basic, but I love how well the products are made. And let's be real, we can't all afford to buy like every designer good on planet Earth. So just wanted to show you guys this really cute fanny pack and I'm super obsessed with it. Um, this video is about a palette I, w I bought and I won't be using this code. So if you want 10% off your next Give Me Glow order, try the code 2KWINTER. Or if you want to buy this palette, try the code 2KWINTER. I don't know if it'll work. Here is the box it came in. There's some cool orange wrapping. If you haven't figured it out yet, I finally got my hands on the Staple Palette. This is by Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This has been out of stock for almost a year now. And when it first launched, I had my eye on it. I was like, ooh, cool, I want it. But after I paid for shipping, you guys, this palette ended up being 60 bucks. And that's a little intense, but I have been following them on Instagram. It sounds like it's a maybe like a one or two person show. They hand press all the shadows from what I understood. And the swatches looked so delicious. Of course, I had to get my hands on it. So here is what the packaging looks like. And here is the box, nice and simple. And it is a nice heavy palette, which I think is really cool. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh no! We have a broken shadow. There's a casualty. This usually does not happen to me, guys. I don't usually get broken palettes, but it's just one shade and it'll be fine, right? Hopefully I can like press it back on, but here are what the shadows look like. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. These shades are right up my alley and uh, the palette is so cold that it's sitting on my lap. Okay, let's get to swatching here. So first shade is called Highlight Shocker. My hand is like stained. Hopefully it doesn't. Ooh. Okay, then we have WCW, which is Woman Crush Wednesday, I'm assuming. The green shade is called Two Moods. Then then we have No Filter, which is like right up my alley. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Pretty. How fun is that? that. I cannot wait to play with this. This is basically like a neutral palette, but that pop of green just like gets me going, you guys. And this just looks so pigmented. I just had to have it. Next is the shade Selfie. Yes. And then we have Hashtag, which is gorgeous. I love shades like this. Follow me. Oh my god. And um, Adorbs is the one that's broken. Such a pretty burgundy color. Oh my god. <gasps> yes. Yes, queen. So pretty. Sorry, I get really excited about swatch parties. I know some people don't like them. The thing is, you guys, the reason I do swatch parties is because, I mean, I do buy a lot of makeup, and I feel like the YouTubers that get these palettes for free, you see it on their Snapchat, but Snapchat, like, died. And so you don't get to see swatches there. Um, not everyone makes YouTube videos with swatch parties. And by the time the swatch party happens, the palette is sold out. Or by the time the review happens, the palette is sold out. Or sometimes people are so focused on the review, um, they try to like review the product as soon as they get it, which is like the most bullshit review on the planet. So I'd rather just show you guys swatches. Like I know they're not like perfect, awesome, wonderful swatches. But this is how it's swatched on my hand, and I, I just have a feeling that these shades are going to blend like a dream on my eyeballs. So 
very excited. So now I'm going to swatch the last row, which is Throwback Thursday. Oh my god. M-O-T-D, makeup of the day. Oh, I love a good mustard. Ride or Die, which is like a cool tone crease shade. And then Dark as My Soul, which is a beautiful chocolate brown. Oh, these are so buttery. So pretty. Okay, you guys, take a good look. So this is an indie brand I would support. I'm going to link it down below if you guys are interested in shopping. This is a really cool palette. I wished my one shade wasn't broken, but it's not the end of the world. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions on this palette. I think it's still available. And that's everything I have for you. So I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.